Today's video is going to be about the Pete Sampras two finger serve. Why is this good? Why is it good to hold the racket with two fingers on your serve? It has the, a good effect to feel where the racket has to drop and then where you pick up the pace. It really helps you to learn the correct swing path to make your racket head go first because the furthest point of your swing path, like of your leather, has to have the maximum speed. So you must make sure that the top of the racket always moves first. If you hold on really tight and you don't have a clue about the swing path, you might have this going on because this movement for you is not natural yet. But unfortunately, look what happens. Like I like to exaggerate things just to make things up clear. And by the way, I had a lot of comments about the ghost basket. So this time I'm going to lock the wheels and the basket is not going to go anywhere. And yes, we are at beautiful Alamoana Beach here. Wonderful weather, guys. All right, so let's see what happens. I'm going to take a couple balls and I'm going to hold on only with two fingers on my, to my racket and there I go. Unfortunately, what happens is that on impact, when I hit the ball, the ball hits the racket out of my hand. And it doesn't matter how clean I hit. It's not enough to grab it with just two fingers. Obviously, if I hold on loose to my racket, like completely not squeezing it, and I serve soft, I can still hit the ball. But if I hit harder, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I'm afraid that if I throw my racket really hard, I don't want to break it. But the idea is that on impact, the, the strength is really hard. So if you hold on loose, it's just going to hit the racket out of your hand. All right. So that is exactly why you have to hold on tight. And please don't misunderstand that you still have to have a loose motion, like a free whip, but that has nothing to do with the tightness of holding on to your racket. You have to hold on tight. So this, the same goes for forehand, backhand, and every single shot. There was another comment that said about like, how tight do you have to hold on to the racket? I'd say it's a nine or a 10, but remember, you don't gain stiffness when you hold on tight. This is just for the context, for, so you can actually push through the ball with your racket and not having the ball pushing your racket out of your hand. And the harder you hit, the harder you have to hold on to your racket. If you're playing at very low speeds and you're a beginner, maybe you won't really notice that as much because you're not hitting so hard. But the harder you hit, as I said, or the harder the balls come to you, if you don't hold on tight to your racket, you're definitely going to lose control. But again, being holding on tight to your racket doesn't mean that you don't hit loose. These two things are really separate. We saw one of you guys commenting about a two finger serve that Pete Sampras was using at some point in his practices. Um, and we were asked about if our grip on the serve should be loose to create a whipping effect on the serve. Now, the answer to that is no the grip should not be loose. Because if our grip is loose and we're trying to hit a really hard serve, which, you know, if you're trying to find a whip on your serve, you're trying to serve harder. So if you're trying to hit as hard as you can and you keep your grip loose, you will lose control of the racket, maybe even drop the racket or throw the racket in the process. So the idea here is that even though we're holding on really tight on our serves, we're not losing wrist flexibility. And that's what most people misunderstand. They think that if I tighten up my grip, my wrist will not create a whipping effect anymore. Now that's simply not true because our wrist will never be as strong 
as the power created from our whole body if we use the kinetic chain correctly. So if we're swinging with good upper body rotation and we let the racket get really fast through correct motion, correct mechanics, however you want to call it, our wrist will not stay stiff. When I used to compete, my hardest serves were hit with a grip strength of 10 out of 10. I never held on softly. If I did, I lost control of my serves. And we can see that by doing a simple exercise where, let's start with two fingers, we just keep two fingers on the racket and we try to serve. These two fingers will never be strong enough to really control the motion. If I hit any harder than that, I will lose my grip. I will lose the racket. If I do three fingers, I can hold on a bit tighter. Now I can hit a bit harder. But if I hit harder than that, I again will lose my grip. Now if I use four fingers, I can serve even harder with four fingers. Okay. However, if I use all my fingers, that's when I can hit much, much harder. Now let's take a look at what the five finger serve would look like if I keep all fingers on my racket. And this is without a warm up. Can hit much harder without losing control of my racket. Now one thing to keep in mind is if we're taking a look at my grip on my serve, and keep in mind I can serve over 120 miles an hour, no problem. I will never have all my fingers on the racket like this with a lot of space to the edge here for two reasons. Number one, I want to have a longer lever. I want to have a longer whip. So I need to hold my racket as far down as I possibly can. Number two, if I keep my last finger on the edge here, I can put some pressure inwards. So from here this way with my pinky. And as you can see, my index finger here is not completely touching and all these fingers are not touching each other. So my right pinky here is a little bit on the edge and my index finger is a little bit higher. So like this, I can kind of use it like a claw, grabbing inside, like into the racket. I can push this way for, with this finger and that way with my index finger. Like that, I have the most amount of control over my serves at the highest speeds that I can produce. If I hold on a bit loosely, and believe me, this has happened many times over the years, I end up, after the serve, holding my racket like this. So I'm very scared that I'm going to drop my racket and destroy it on the ground throughout the serve. Now another thing is, if it's for example very humid and I sweat a lot, I also have to hold on tighter to my grip in order to execute a hard serve. Did that you know, create a softer serve in the process? Not at all. My hardest serves that I measured with a radar gun. They all happened when I grabbed onto my racket as tight as I possibly could. Because otherwise, there's a possibility that I would have swung just as hard and the ball would have been nine feet long. So keep that in mind. The whipping effect is not going to be diminished by holding on tighter because your upper body rotation, all these muscle, muscles together, put in a lot more pressure than the wrist can handle. So if you're holding on tight, all you're doing is you're making sure that the wrist swing path, I guess you can call it, does not deviate from its intended path. You're just controlling the swing, but you're still going to have all this wrist motion happening even if you hold on really, really tight. And you're going to create a stronger whipping effect in the process. Again, a little bit about the two finger serve. It's kind of the same thing as working with the sock. So when you don't have a sock, then you use the two fingers so you see that here the racket goes, it drops, and then you pick it up from behind your back, right? With the sock, you have the same thing. You have it, it's heavier on the end. So if you're doing it correctly, then you will have a proper swing, right? And obviously, this sock here is loose. But that has nothing to do with me. We're not trying to hit a ball right now. We're not trying to um, create force or anything. Or we're not trying to uh, sustain any force that's coming to us. Yes, when we're serving a serve, you toss the ball. The ball has no speed. Basically, it's all about how hard you hit it. And that's why if you're not hitting it really, really hard, then probably you're, you can get away with not squeezing the racket in your hand but if you serve over a hundred miles an hour you have to hold on really really tight to the racket we're just telling you this information from the inside 
because we know we've been in tennis for so long and we understand that the better you get, the more details in your game have to be correct. Let me try a serve with holding on to the racket with just two fingers. <laughs> that was horrible. So the faster you swing, the more likely it is that the racket is just gonna fly out your hand. Obviously, holding on with two fingers is super extreme. It's good to look at extreme ways to understand what really works and what doesn't, right? And if holding on tight to your racket stiffens your whole movement, then maybe you should try to hold on a little bit looser, but then don't serve as hard. And then as you, uh, as you get better and as your serve gets better, try to tighten up only the way that, like only how you hold the racket and not the motion itself. Let's see here, if I can get the ball in, not hitting really hard, but holding on to the racket with two fingers. By the way, two fingers, this is how I hold it, here, just like this, and I just hit it loose. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna hold it with three fingers. I'm gonna put one more finger up here just to give myself a little more certainty. Well, three fingers work. But if I try to serve hard like that, the ball is going to fly. Okay, let's, let me put one finger off and try two fingers now again. Okay, two more fingers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.